Hello friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Friday and I have your word for the day. Okay wives, today I am going there. I am going to go to a place where most men refuse to go. Why is that? Because by the time we gather together again as a church, you will have long forgotten this video. And please don't share this post with my wife. I'm kidding, of course. Proverbs 25, 24 gives this little nugget of wisdom to wives. If you want to experience a peaceful home, wives, it's important that you understand your influence in the home. Here's what Solomon writes. It is better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home. Now, <laughs> let me be clear. It takes two people to argue and to quarrel. Wives are not the only ones who are guilty of being argumentative and contentious. If any man ever came close to understanding woman, it was Solomon. Now understand this. The Bible tells us that he was one of the wisest men that ever lived. Much of the wisdom literature in the Bible is attributed to him. He lived in a different time and he had 700 wives and 300 concubines. So if anybody, any man has ever understood the mind of a woman, we would all agree it's the wisest man on earth or the one of the wisest men ever who's ever lived. And it would be a man who has had, had at least 700 wives, 300 concubines. So let me just say this. These are Solomon's words, not mine. Wives, you like that, how I'm treading softly? Wives. It is important to understand your influence in the home. Your husband loves you deeply. And one of your husband's greatest needs is to feel admired and respected by you. I admit it. I'm a weak man. If my wife doesn't admire and respect me, I feel so deflated. And what I mean by respect, I don't mean obedient. I mean, she just admires and appreciates and values me as a man. Being argumentative communicates uh, that your husband is wrong and you are right. A contentious spirit can hurt a man's pride. It can help him feel inadequate and he can begin to project a low self-image. And because you love your husband, that is not how you want your husband to feel. You want to build him up, not tear him down. And the reason your husband is so easily influenced by you is simply because he loves you. Your words matter to him. So wives, commit to telling your husband what you admire and respect about him. Speak words of encouragement to him and you'll watch his chest begin to puff up a little bit more. You're going to feel his hand slip around your waist as you walk beside each other. And you're going to feel your love for one another continue to grow sweeter with age. So use your words in a kind and caring way. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, and leave a comment. God bless, and remember, don't share this with my wife. Have a great day.